I saw a question today on Quora, and it said, could a skilled machine learning engineer beat everyone, beat all others on Kaggle? If you don't know, Kaggle is a place where they do machine learning competitions. So I'm not a super skilled, I mean, I'm okay. I'm not a super skilled machine learning engineer. I haven't been doing it for a decade or more. Um, however, could I beat on the structured data? Let's, let's say on structured data competitions. On, on, on structured data comps. Could I beat it? Yeah, easily. Yeah, I could beat everyone. It's not hard. Most of them are cheating anyhow. Uh, so how would I beat it? Uh, I would I would cheat just like everyone else does. There's a tool that Google has uh, called Vertex AI. It used to be called something else prior to that. Uh, for all their structured data problems, I think it was called Auto. Yeah, it was. It just came to me. Auto ML Tables. This is what it used to be called. And what it is, is a, here's, here's structured data. You guys know what structured data is, right? It's tabular data, table, tabular, tabular. That's what structured data means. I don't mean image competitions. I don't mean audio competitions. I don't mean NLP, none of that, right? I'm, I'm very specific here to machine learning problems on structured data. All right. This is, this is probably about 85% or more of all of real world modeling. If you didn't know, anyway, back to topic you can and that is easily beating Kaggle so they had this tool named AutoML tables which I believe now is called within the umbrella of vertex AI so on tabular data they had this again it was called this don't know what it's called now you can look it up if you want what it was is a gradient booster like a gradient booster I don't know which one they're using most likely it's XGBoost as the base I'm guessing it's another O and O, actually boost. And then, in order to find the correct, if you don't know, the, the knobs you turn, here's the knobs. The knobs you turn on a machine learning model to tweak it are called hyper parameter tuning. So, in conjunction with using gradient boosting, right, it uses deep learning to tweak all the hyper parameters. Right, and they back tested this on every structured data competition in Kaggle, and it came in first through third place. So again, can you or I or someone in the real world beat all the Kaggle competitions on structured data? Yeah, easily. Yeah, and all you have to do is know how to cleanse the data. Because if you can clean the data, you can upload it to this model, and it's going to win one through three every single time. All right. So, and for you and I. This isn't cheating. This is what we do in the real world. We look for tools for companies in order to get the best model. This is the best outcome. You're not going to beat it. No one's going to beat it. All right. It's, it's the best you're going to be able to do on a structured data model. So could I beat it? Yep. Is it cheating? Yeah. So is everyone else though. And just like that, Kaggle on structured data competitions is probably pretty useless. All right. So. I don't like Kaggle anyhow. It doesn't teach the core skill that you're going to need as a machine learning engineer in the real world, and that's data cleansing. But I thought it was an interesting question, right? And the answer is, uh, as long as I can cheat, yeah, I can beat it. Now, can I beat it and not cheat? No, no way in hell. I mean, there are teams of people that are on these competitions. There are, there are grandmasters here that get together and they form a team. And, you know, they've got, you know, these are... They work at different corporations and, and they, they do this for fun. No, you're not going to beat it. Sorry, not going to happen.